Okay, this is a functional test on my test bench of the General 90 model 50A50-110 furnace controller. First thing we're going to do now is to call for heat and jumping the R and the W button um, contacts. The inducer fan blower turned on, that's represented by this light. And, um, and the timer started. And then we're going to now jumper the pressure switch to simulate that we have low pressure. And then at around 33 seconds, this igniter will turn on. And that's in about 10 seconds. We're about 26 seconds into call for heat. And then in a couple of seconds, the igniter will turn on. And that's this light here. This is the igniter, it's on now. And now we're going to wait for the gas valve, which is indicated by this meter. The gas valve will turn on. And you see 24 volts, 26 volts for the gas valve. There it is. And now I'm gonna turn on the simulated flame sensor. Ga the, the igniter turned off and the gas valve staying on, showing successful start and run of the furnace and we're at a minute and 10 seconds. So we see the inducer is staying on, the gas valve is staying on, the igniter is off. And now what we're gonna do is simulate a fault, first by uh, extinguishing the flame. And the system detected the fault, it shut off the gas, shut off the inducer, and it went into protect mode. So it shows the uh, furnace controller working. The um, the um, flame rollout sensor is jumpered to simulate that's okay and the high limit is also jumpered if i didn't do that uh, the board would have thrown an error condition showing that all those error conditions are detected correct and here's the flash two flashes to show that the flame went out